Well, good morning, Idaho, and happy Wednesday. We are starting off this morning with a beautiful and very festive live look at the Village at Meridian. Nice to see some of those Christmas lights starting to go up and, of course, that ice skating rink. Now, those current conditions, if you're waking up this morning with us, 36 degrees in Boise, and it feels like 36, so we'll take it, right? Which it feels what you get because that wind, despite moving at about three miles per hour to the southeast, isn't having much of an impact. So good news, a good start. Now, looking at that day at a glance, what you can anticipate for your, your Wednesday, we're seeing that we're going to have some on again, off again clouds for today, but we will remain dry. So we're not looking at any weather events like we did yesterday. Dry conditions. We will be on a cooler note, but those winds are going to remain calm really all day long. We'll have peaks of sunshine more times uh, than others. We'll see just again that little bit that's going to make those colder temperatures not feel nearly as severe. Now, taking a look at what we can anticipate going into Thursday. We're seeing another change in the weather pattern. We're getting more wet weather coming our way. This is a look at midnight for your Thursday. Lots of widespread rain across most of the Treasure Valley. We're seeing that there's going to be pockets of heavier snow really coming in from eastern Oregon, and that snow is going to stick in those higher elevations like McCall and again any place in those uh, east central mountain regions or anything in between. And we're going to continue to see that rain pushing through, and that's going to be really an all day thing until about 5 p.m. This is that snapshot where we're going to still continue to have widespread cloud coverage, really just kind of as a result of all that moisture it's had to support. It's going to take a second for those clouds to detox out of the area, but we will see that the possibility of maybe a baby shower is possible, just little tiny sprinkles. Uh, but again, we should be expecting to be clear going into our Friday. Those conditions looking very favorable. Now, partly cloudy conditions is what we can anticipate for today. Very dry, mild, as we continue to say. It's going to be well into the 50s, and if you're splitting hairs, we'll be into the high 40s in places like Boise, Cuna, and Mountain Home. Now, conditions are also mild. Nothing flashy happening in the West Central Mountains today. 46 will be that high temperature in Garden Valley, 43 in Idaho City. It'll be about 50 in Riggins with a, a high temperature of 36 in McCall. So a big difference between the two. That goes from having maybe one coat as your layer in Riggins to you might need a coat, beanie, and maybe some earmuffs if you're going to McCall. In the East Central Mountains, same deal, nothing flashy. 35 will be that high temperature in Stanley, 40 if you're going to be in Fairfield. And then moving on into the Magic Valley, partly cloudy conditions for today. We're going to see some light winds, 47 for Goodington and Falls, 46 though for Burley and Shoshone. Now laying it all out there in that seven-day extended forecast, again, weather's kind of here, there, everywhere. We're going to see that as we go into our Thursday. So we had just under a half inch of rain that accumulated in Boise yesterday. Going into tomorrow, we're not going to see nearly as much precipitation totals. However, we will just have have a nice decent sprinkling. It'll just be a, a nice, uh, not a hefty helping, but just enough. Now going into our Friday, we will see some clearer conditions. It is going to have a little bit more sunshine than what we would anticipate for Saturday. Saturday seems to be the gloomiest of all the days, but as we head into sunset, su Sunday, we can expect some more sunshine.